Along with the ground of elastic steel and so it's like this. Right now we're going to go over the difference between a butterfly and a side split. Very often people say I can do the butterfly, I cannot do the side split and other people say I can do the side split and I cannot do the butterfly. So how come I can do one and not the other? Okay, so let's take a look. We have a butterfly here. Okay. This is a butterfly and we have the side split or the straddle. Right? So we have two different techniques. Now what is the difference between them that would enable somebody to do one and not the other? Well, for one thing, right here in the straddle we have the knee extended. What does that mean? That means that gracilis that crosses the knee gets more stretch. That's number one. And we have the hamstring, especially the internal hamstring, semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis are under stretch. Okay, so having the knees extended makes a difference. So you would say, well, anybody who can do a side split should be able to do the butterfly, right? Because you bend the knees and you take those three muscles out of the game, the gracilis, the semi-tendinosis, the semi-membranosis, right? Well, let's see what happens. So we go back to the butterfly, <clears throat> the knees are bent, and now those people that can do the side split and cannot do the butterfly, they say, why is that? Well, what, what just happened? Granted, the knees, but at the same time, we created a lot more external rotation because now the quads right here are back and the side splits that were up. So granted, you bend the knees, the muscle across the knees are now shortened, but the external rotation increased. In other words, to some degree, you actually need more flexible adductors in a butterfly than you would need in a split because the adductors are also, in most cases, the internal rotators and now you created that much more external rotation. Now for the people that say I'm on a side split, I can lean forward and I cannot lean forward in a butterfly, lean forward, so what ends up happening here is you create that much more external rotation. So maybe you can do a little bit of external rotation in a side split, but in a butterfly it's a lot more external rotation. So those internal rotators play a role. In a matter of fact, even the muscles right here, the abductors, gluteus medius and gluteus minus, even these muscles, which are supposed to be shortened by the fact that the knees are away from each other, they get the stretch because of that rotation. So hopefully that answers your question.